Well, the Republican runoff for Alabama's first congressional district is now in the books. Bradley Byrne edged out Dean Young for a seat in the House of Representatives. Byrne will serve the rest of Joe Bonner's term, then do it all over again in less than a year. Well, tonight, Byrne is preparing to square off with Democrat Burton LaFleur in the December general election. Local 15's Darwin Singleton has been breaking down the race county by county. Darwin, how close was it? Well, closer you might think. Now, this race erupted into a classic battle between sidewalks and country lanes, between rural areas and cities, and Bradley Byrne benefited from that. Now, of the six counties in the 1st Congressional District, Young won the majority of votes in three, Monroe, Washington, and Clark. And while he won by respectable margins in Monroe and Washington, Young won Clark by just one vote. Bradley Byrne captured the three most populous counties, Escambia, Mobile, and Baldwin counties. Of course, Baldwin County is Dean Young's own home. And while Byrne took Mobile County 52% to Young's 46%, the margin was nearly the same in Baldwin County, 52 to 47. Now let's go to Baldwin County, where Dean Young's home is, of course, where the division between rural and cities once again tells a tale. Take a look at this map, and you will see Bradley Byrne captured all of Baldwin's bigger cities, Daphne, Spanish Fort, Fairhope, even Gulf Shores, and Young's own hometown of Orange Beach. That despite robocalls made by Orange Beach Mayor Tony Kennan on behalf of Young. So. Where was Young strongest? Well, in rural areas and communities and small towns like Loxley, Stockton, Perdido, Bay Minette, Rosington, Silver Hill, Robertsdale, Alberta, and Bon Secours. In some of those communities, Young more than doubled Byrne's votes, but the numbers just weren't big enough to make a difference. Now, Byrne won where it often matters the most, where the people are in larger towns and cities, and that's the way it went, Greg. All right, Darwin, thanks. Burton LaFleur and Bradley Byrne now on the ballot for the general election coming up. And that winner will then serve out the remainder of Joe Bonner's term. As always, you can turn on Local 15 News and our website for all the returns that night when they come in.